You didn't have no clean underwear, so you put on some goddamn pants. Some of some pants. Boys and girls, welcome back to another fresh, delicious, brand new video. The saga continues. The I show peen story plot thickens. I show speed finally responds to YouTube's response and goes live once again to talk about what happened on that dreadful night where he showed his meat to 25,000 people. Now to catch you guys all back up, if you guys are new to this channel, uh, I show speed streamed uh, two days ago, two to three days ago. Uh, he was just streaming like a normal session that he usually does to 25,000 viewers. He was playing Five Nights at Freddy's, if you know that game. It's a very, it's a scary game where, you know, things just pop up randomly. People get scared. It's a fun game at the end of the, at the end of the day. Now, I Show Speed was playing it and this character by the name of Chica pops up on his screen, yelling and screaming, looking kind of weird. And he's get startled he screams like anybody else would and but he does something that nobody else probably would he gets up starts saying i'm gonna fuck you chica and starts humping the camera and in the midst of him thrusting towards the camera he gets a wardrobe malfunction his meat flies out of his underwear and uh he doesn't realize it for a couple of strokes then he finally does realize it he goes back down and he goes oh my gosh what just happened he then immediately ends the live, deletes the VOD, and uh, that's where we were at for a while. YouTube then responds a couple days later. Um, they, everybody was thinking, oh, he's going to get banned because, you know, you're not supposed to show yourself nude on camera. So everybody was thinking, oh, he's going to get banned. That's that's usually, it's against the YouTube policy. Of course, he's going to get banned. And uh, but YouTube responded a couple days later and they decided to not ban him. They decided that it was an accident. What happened? He did the right steps by, you know, immediately deleting the live stream, immediately uh, ending the live and, and deleting the live. So they figured it was a freak accident that happened during the live stream. And it was also his last strike. He already has two strikes. So if he would have got one more, his channel would have been completely deleted but they decided to spare him and decided not to even give him a strike not even to ban him nothing no suspension nothing he can go back live business as usual and just today i shall speed finally decides to go live after all of the craziness that just went down i the hashtag i show peen i show me was trending everywhere but he finally decides to go live he tried his hardest not to to listen to the trolls, I guess. But I'm gonna show you a video that he posted um, on his story. So this is what he had to say about YouTube. He is contemplating quitting YouTube. Here's the video. I know this video might seem, you know, crazy in all type of all type of ways. But this is me coming out as I can't take it no more. I'm quitting YouTube, bro. I'm finally quit. Sorry, man. I'm gonna miss y'all dearly, dog. <sighs> but I'm quitting, man. This is my last time. You know, me posting the video. I just can't take it, dog. So, <sighs> take a great look at my face. You guys will never see me, bro. I would never see me ever in your life, bro. Just take a great look, man. Okay, that was a little April Fool's joke that he did, but he actually did not have a good comeback. He did not want to address any of the things that happened. He didn't want anyone to talk about it, but his chat kept spamming, I show meat, I show peen, just a bunch of other comments regarding the accident. And uh, he actually did have a bad reaction. This is what he had to say. Now, again, take this with a grain of salt. Speed is known to be a troll himself, so I don't know if he genuinely feels this way, but here's a reaction that he genuinely did have when he came back on his stream. Laughing, ha ha ha, I show me, ha, 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 like, bro, laughing at you, and, like, bro, reposting it, like, bro, how the fuck would you fucking fail, motherfucker? How the fuck would you fucking fail? How the fuck would you fail? Fucking underwear! You would have no clean underwear, so 
saw you put on some goddamn pants. Some other some pants. How would you feel? How would you feel? I'm not fucking telling. I'm sick of fucking telling. You can't tell. Don't tell me to fucking calm down. Every time I open up my phone. Now, in that clip, it seemed like he was just playing his character that he normally does. He was being a little facetious. He wasn't really meaning what he was saying. As like he was taking it to heart. The comments, I think he was enjoying the virality of it. But in this other clip, he breaks character just a little bit to uh, kind of show us what he truly feels and if this actually affected him in any type of way. So here's another clip of him, you know, just being calm and being on speed where i feel like he breaks a little bit of character and kind of explains himself and kind of like shows his true colors and i've really been lately these past hours these these this, this past days and hours i've been suffering very mentally bro you know generally bro at the end of the day i'm still a human being bro and i've really been lately these past hours these so I feel like that one was a little bit more of a genuine reaction of what he really is going through. I feel like Speed just doesn't really know how to express his feelings, but he broke character for a little bit to express himself. And it's embarrassing. It can be a little bit hard to deal with, you know, having so, so many people see you in that way, you know, showing yourself off to people. It could be embarrassing. It could feel a little intrusive. Uh, genuinely, I think Speed, you know, was embarrassed at the end of the day. He does like to play the character of the crazy, don't give a don't give a fuck person, but I think genuinely it did affect him to an extent. I think Speed will recover from this. I don't think this is going to hinder him in, or his career in any way. This just boosted his virality just a little bit more, but I think Speed will recover from this, and I don't think this will affect him in any other way than just him being embarrassed for a few weeks or so. Once this washes away, this will just be a dead old meme of him calling him I show peen, I show meat, and it will just wash away. But a lot of people were also showing concerns that speed might, you know, hurt himself, which I don't think it's the case. People were saying this kind of happened to another streamer by the end of by the name of Etika, where he ended up taking his own life because his his community was very toxic as well. Just, you know, making memes of him making him just the butt of the joke at all, all the time so it could it's it's going the same route as that but i think speed is mentality is a little bit stronger hopefully i don't know him personally but i hope we could take this and grow from it and not take it too hard i don't think anybody genuinely cares that he showed himself on stream like that it was an accident it wasn't planned it was a true accident and i think people would just honestly forget about it in a few months to a year or so so I think people that are concerned for him hurting himself shouldn't be concerned. I hope I show speed is fine. Hope he's not thinking any of those dark thoughts. But I guess at the end of the day, we won't know until I show speed either, you know, says something about it or shows more deeper signs of him trying to hurt himself. Anyways, that's been the trilogy of the I show meat, I show peen hashtag that's been going viral for the past couple of days. I don't know if anything else will come of this, but that's going to put a pin in it for now until anything crazier happens. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all the new viewers if you've been watching it. Uh, thank you guys again. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe. Let me know down below any of your thoughts, and I'll see you guys again in another fresh, delicious, brand new video. Peace out.